All right, it's Jordan here, back again with another dose of European exclusive physical Switch releases. Last week I showed you 20, and now I've got 20 more for you. Even though the episode didn't do particularly well, those that did watch it made it abundantly clear that you wanted more. So, let's dive in. And I just want to stress that these are not necessarily the biggest or the best games and this is not even close to being definitive because we've still got two more episodes after this one. These games were selected at random, some new, some old, some good, some sh questionable. Some did get released in Asia but that's not what we're here to talk about. I'm also not going to be talking about low print releases so no super rare, no strictly limited and the like. This is retail only. Stop the babbling Jordan, let's jump in. One Piece Unlimited World Red is a game that graced Europe physically, but deemed not worth it for North Americans. I can only guess that this is due to it being an older game already from a previous generation that had been on every console going. Even the Wii U, yes even the Wii U got it physically, but apparently the Switch wasn't deemed good enough. A bit too niche. This is a fun 3D action brawler type adventure game that I think fans of the legendary manga series will appreciate and it has its merits above the Pirate Warriors hack and slash games as well. Junior League Sports is a cheapo crapo specialo from Funbox Media 3 Sports in one package. This only released physically in Europe as far as I'm aware barring a random name change overseas that I wasn't aware of. Kind of weird considering two of the three sports are way more popular in the US than Europe. You have basketball, ice hockey and the most popular sport in the world, quid, I mean uh, football, soccer, real football. Block Knockers represents East Asia Soft and Funbox Media's second cooperation after the game found in the last episode, Waifu Uncovered. However, unlike Waifu Uncovered, I heard that this happens to be a semi-decent game that you can play while nursing a semi. What a coincidence. Nerdy girls to uncover as you play this tile sliding game. One for cultured people, I would imagine. I even believe it comes with a soundtrack CD. They're tempting me. Construction Simulator 2 and 3 is a double pack of well, exactly what it says. Interestingly, the first game, I believe it's the first game, it's kind of hard to tell because there's a slight name difference, Construction Machine Simulator also got a separate release for Europe, but, and stay with me here, in North America, the first game got a release with a triple pack of three other uh, simulation type games, and uh, what I'm trying to say is, don't ask me what happened to the first game. Sticking with the construction, since it's so riveting for you lot. Constructor Plus, this got a code in a box release in North America, but Europe got the actual cartridge. All I remember of this game, the original one on the PS1, is that it took up an entire memory card to save your game. Hopefully this remake doesn't fill up your SD card, although that would be pretty impressive. Big Bobby Car, The Big Race is an open world racing game with over 40 missions to take part in as you drift around town and countryside. Something is telling me this is not exactly going to be Diddy Kong Racing. But if you want to feel like a Bobby Big Bollocks then this game may be the one for you. And just remember we have purchase links below as to where you can find each of these games if you're around the world and need to bolster your collection. I know you're all begging for some Big Bobby in your life. Some from Amazon, some from PlayAsia, which if you use those links you can support us at the same time, massively so, especially since this episode did not get a sponsor. And also if you use those links, the PlayAsia one specifically, you can get 5% off if you use the coupon code SWITCHWATCHTV while checking out, that's all one word, while checking out on PlayAsia for 5% off with Switch Watch TV, and we thank you ever so much. Plus, it's also free shipping for Play Asia right now, so now is a pretty good time to buy. But as some of these games are long out of stock in places, some of them you may have to troll eBay or maybe Facebook Marketplace or something like that. Sorry about that, but we can't help it. Inertial Drift is a really fun arcade racer, one that Juan reviewed and even featured in the best arcade races on the Nintendo Switch, the video we made. Check out those for more in-depth information, but suffice to say, North Americans will be disappointed that this one didn't drop on those shores. Definitely one of the higher quality titles in these European exclusives. It's unique, well made and recommended. El Dorado Creatures is a game based upon a toy series that I'm far too old to know about. Naturally, as a toy licensed tie-in, quality was hardly the order of the day for this release. This looks to be a low-budget tactics game as the eponymous creatures take on each other. I don't know, ask your kids about it. 
Gem Smashers may have the most generic name going for it, but underneath, there's a half-decent action puzzle game for those looking for this kind of thing. Slightly shallow, but accessible for everyone. It could be an alright addition to the collection of puzzle game fans. Titiuf Mega Party was apparently a bit too French to grace North America physically. Some Canadians will be devastated. This is a remaster of a game from 2004, and no, I don't remember it either. But as the name says, it's a party game with 40 mini games available. Whether it's any competition for Mario Party, well, I have no idea. You tell me, French people. Tales of the Tiny Planet is a charming, colourful little puzzle game, which is a surprise considering the publisher of this game is known for absolutely bottom-of-the-barrel guffage. Now, this is not the best game in the world, but very solid for what it's going for. Although perhaps the price may not be exactly worth it on the Switch when it's only a couple of dollars on mobile. Saying that though, if you look around, the physical Switch version was only about £5 a few months back, so that was pretty cheap. While the original TT Isle of Man got a physical release in North America, seemingly its sequel did not. Which is a shame because it's even bigger and better than the original. It is balls achingly hard though. Find out more in our in-depth review which Juan put together as to why it's a pretty good bike riding game. I don't know why Juan reviews all the racing games. Farmer's Dynasty is a bit of a weird one, budgeted to hell and yet tries to do oh so much as a farming simulator going for a proper farming sim, while also adding in some RPG elements as well. It's kind of like an in-between of Farming Simulator and Stardew Valley. It doesn't quite work out so wonderfully, but it's an interesting experiment nonetheless. Guilty Gear 20th Anniversary was supposed to get a North American release, but that sadly fell through when Physicality Games gave up funding. But not to worry because this classic fighter was released physically in Europe, although that's not exactly easy to get a hold of these days after a brief look online, so how about the Hong Kong version? That has English too if the region isn't important to you. Links are below for that one. World End Syndrome got an English physical release thanks to P-Cube in Europe. However, checking eBay prices, people be smoking something. This European exclusive has shot through the roof thanks to North Americans wanting to import it. This is a visual novel, mostly highly regarded too, and only came in a day one edition with a nice little art book to go with it. Dead or School is the absolute definition of a rough gem. Side-scrolling action in a post-apocalyptic world, starring a girl who just wants to go back to school schlocky but a lot of fun you can see why if you watch my review of it from a couple of years back if you can't get the european release then how about the japanese one which does have english anima gate of memories arrived in europe in a nice little mini collector's edition it's a decent enough action rpg in a 6 out of 10 kind of way which you know there's nothing wrong with a 6 out of 10 game some of my favorite games are 6 out of 10 games it has a large world and two different campaigns to be getting on with not a bad one if you can manage to track it down Hard West released physically in Europe in a collector's edition that includes all sorts of stuff and I remember shops in the UK couldn't even give this thing away and that's always a bad sign for collectors in the future. If something can't be given away, it's almost guaranteed to be expensive in the future. So we'll have to see about this one. It's still reasonable and it's a strategy game kind of like XCOM but with zombies and cowboys because why not? Nintendo with a physical release in Europe but not North America. What? Are we in the Wii era here? Well, I don't know why, but Nintendo loved to keep brain training a region exclusive for a ridiculous amount of time. Remember the 3DS one? Europe got that like five years after North America or something. Well, there's the European version and a Japanese version of this brain trainer, both of which have English. Why on earth this does not have a North American release yet? Who knows? Secrets of Magic 1 and 2 is an obscure casual physical release containing two simple puzzle games. There's not a whole lot to say about these, you pretty much know what you're getting. One for casual audiences only. And there we have it, 20 physical releases that North America did not get, but Europe did. All chosen at random. Please like it, please watch it, please share it. Links are below if you want to purchase anything. If physicals are your thing then remember every Monday I tell you all the physical releases coming amongst some other great things for collectors as well. Watch our stuff. Thanks to our executive producers Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boombox, Brent McLean, Jonathan Rumor, Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Cato, J Cross 7776, Elisa Punky Deuce and Michael Del Polito. Cigar Trucker, Cartoon Siren, Jack Severus, Velos, and Robotech. If you watched all the way through, then you are a massive legend, so give me a high five in the comments so I know who you are. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>